What's good, my people? Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, L A B B, who we running with? Yeah, two two three three, I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Yes, guys, what's good, my people? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I hope all you guys are good. Bit of a chill day for me and he. Look at this dude. Wait till you see the. <laughs> see, um, we had a tough day yesterday as you saw on the vlog we started our brand new program my legs are feeling it i'm not gonna lie but it's all about recovery now so because yeah. we don't want to like we knew this first week would be the hardest just adapting so hopefully we can recover and just get through this week and i think after that our bodies will start to adapt a bit more but yeah, i can't lie that lowest session we've done yesterday finished me though that last exercise when i got cramped bro that's yeah. how i knew like it's gonna be bad in the next couple of days but trust me man but guys i'm gonna have a little q a for you later i'll put out on my instagram so if you're not following my instagram already make sure you do that but i'll put on my instagram um for you guys to send us some questions so we're gonna answer some of them later on in the video but yeah guys we've literally just been recovering today getting our food in um, stretching, all of that stuff. But guys, if I'm gonna be real with you, yeah, I'm really, I really, really, really want to get like 20 videos out in the next 30 days. But I'm not even bantering, bro. Like, I only uploaded like five videos in Jan, and overall, like my channel, it got over like 500,000 views, which is crazy. Um, so imagine 20, bro. Like, the growth would be unbelievable. Um, but guys, I've actually got a little package in the gym. My wrists, for some reason, I've been aching. I've been aching bears. And I think I've always had this problem. It's my right wrist. It's just it's just finished, mate. I can't lie. I don't know why. Um, especially when I do, like, dumbbells. And, like, whenever I have to, like, put pressure on my wrist. Like, like press-ups. Like, I have to go on my fist when I do press-ups and stuff just because it hurts. So, I've bought some, like, wrist supports. I'm not going to shirt because that's free brand deal. You know what I mean? They can pay me. Money up in me. I don't really know how they work. I've never really used anything like this. Usually it's called a fanny or a <laughs> if you use something like this. But guys, real quick, let me show you. Me and Higgs have been making thumbnails, yeah? yeah. Shall I play it? Yeah, play it. Yeah. Play the video. This is how we make thumbnails on YouTube, boys. It's a bit laggy, boys. It's a bit laggy. About to start. About to start. We stand there, in front of a camera, and just make loads of faces. Pretend we see the pen too. God, look at that. We just saw a sweet one, bro. We just saw oh, oh sweet one right there, bro. <laughs> look at that. Oh, shit. Connor oh, spotted it. Shit, I'll see you though as well. Oh, my God. Bro, that light looks pale. I can't lie. <laughs> Guys, that is what a day in the life of a YouTuber looks like. Yeah, you just stand in front of a camera and make faces for the thumbnail. I'm going to see how this works. I can't lie. Is there instructions? They're like that. No, <laughs> oh, that's definitely not right. What is it? That's not right, is it? I actually know, bro. It might be. It might be. No, it's not. No, it's not. Get me! Don't chat to me no more, yeah? I'm upgrading the gym game. This left side just... This just doesn't work. Best game over now. Catch you in the gym with these bad boys, yeah? <laughs> Alright, guys. Now, this chair... Sat the wrong with it, mate. All right. It just falls over when it wants. Like, I'm not trying to have another stress fracture in my back, so if you could just, like, relax. That'd be perfect. Oh. Can you speak to this No? Yeah, the camera. <laughs> that was so dumb for me, that. I'm speaking to someone. I was speaking to my flipping. I just um, thought you were. I literally forgot your vlog and I thought. I am vlogging. What's up with it? Oh my god, you look hard as fuck, bro. I look hard, isn't it? Don't come near me. Come here now. If you actually dash from the head, no, you'll hurt, bro. Why are you nervous? Why are you nervous for? Why are you nervous? So, last vlog, you lost. Yeah. The, the, the two touch. You lost, there was one life, yeah? Mm hmm. What was one of the rules? I had to do the dishwasher. Have you done it? Yeah. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! Have you? Yeah. Let me see. I've done it, bro. Have you? <laughs> yeah. No, no, you haven't. So, what did you say now? There's got to be a punishment for fucking... What? Not my language, but uh, for, uh... Oh, he's done False it. accusations against me. Because I'm not going into pension, I'm doing a for no reason. <laughs> oh, you never do it anyway, so well done. Have a round of applause. <laughs> well done, well done. Alright, boys, what are we renting the Higgsy trip? It's actually not bad today, you know? It's not bad. You're going to rap for me? Huh? You're going to rap for me? What do you want to rap about? Your drip. 
Man's got a drip when we step into the city. Man, look at me, but they ain't looking with pity. Because we are 10 out of 10 and we slaying all these hoes. Come back to me, girl, it's just the way that it goes. Six galley in the bedroom, bitch, we slaying. They're on their knees, they're praying. And they're saying, what? please, Iggy, give it to me, I want some. Oh, come on, man, what's the phone? I've got like five year olds watching me, oh, yeah, man. Shit, you can't ask me for that one. Yeah, I can. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can. <laughs> That's what Higgy's on, boys. Fine, out. I think he's a matchup. And one, two, three, four, and we're in. Let's and we go. In. Hello. What are we doing? Uh, rap battles, isn't it? Rap battles. Rap battles. Rap battles. Oh, let's go. Against the viewers, fam, because I see you in the comments trying to at me. Oh, what do they say? They're saying, you're looking. I look old. like I'm homeless, yeah. but I'm in a house. Yeah. And they said I look old, yeah. but I'm young. I'm a 22 year old boy. Yeah. I'm no ACLs, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to jump in to a little Q&A. So I did actually put up a post on my Instagram. Um, I've got Higgsy jumping in. We're just going to answer some questions. Um, what was that? I don't know. I thought it was cool because you introduced me, so I was trying to, like... <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> fuck, sorry, mate. Just don't. Like, normal, 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 serious Q&A. We appreciate you putting your questions in. Okay, follow Connor that? on Insta. Use that sweet one. Turn daisies. You don't follow me, though. Oh. No clout around here. You're not getting <laughs> no football clout. Is that edited? Or yeah. is that actually you? Stop me. No, that is you. Boys, show that to the camera, please. <laughs> what have I just said on my feed? <laughs> Boys, look at Connor's neck movement here, man. Bro, that's what, no wonder you can check your shoulders so easy. Alright, guys, so one of the fan pages, I've literally just opened up my Insta and saw this. To be fair, yeah, shout out that fan page, because they actually post some good stuff. It's got 10,000 views, bro. So you think 10... Bro, there's a lot, too many questions. All right, so the first question is, why did you start YouTube? So, hey, you might Well, oh, basically, I've always obviously been a gamer. And yeah. the thing is, like, when did, when did I first ever see you? Obviously, me and Connor joined the school's program in Norwich, which was basically... I was in year 10 at the time. He was obviously year 8, weren't it? Yeah. Uh, I was doing my gaming stuff, posting videos. It wasn't, like, anything serious. I had less than 100 subscribers. And Connor was always supporting. <laughs> he was always, like, not in the gaming community, but, like, would support the channel. I, every year I get something pop up on my Facebook, okay, oh, yeah, which says... Sick. Everyone goes to subscribe to Higgsy, um, he's getting close to 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers, bro. And now he's on 270k or yeah, something. It's which crazy. Is, which is mad to think, but yeah, he's always been a gamer, started off with gaming. So if that's know. one thing, I, I wish that when I did my injury at Norwich, I recorded it. Obviously, you started it. Yeah. And then obviously, people saw the journey, could relate to yeah, it. Yeah, then with me, I'd done my ACL. Uh, most of you, well, actually, a lot of you might not even know. I did my ACL, um, and I was just like recording, um, documenting my journey my journey back and then uh, I stopped uploading for like eight months. I missed quite a big start, like quite a lot of it. Um, Cause at the start it was quite embarrassing. Like being in a professional football environment, trying to bring a camera in, um, it's quite a like an alpha environment. Yeah. So like, it's, it's hard. First team is around the gym. That's yeah. one of the reasons why I didn't do it. And I said to Connor, that's one Cause I was we, like, Norwich is quite like a family club. So like, we, I'd be, especially like the injured players would be in the gym with like all the first team players. It's quite like a social club sort of thing. Like everyone like gets on, it's quite a family club. Um, so it's quite alpha. It's quite hard to bring a camera into that environment. I didn't upload for like eight months. My channel started blowing up out of nowhere. My first ever video, it's on like 500K now. And then, in this summer, I kind of took it a bit more serious, me and Higgsy. That's where you saw the series of Day in the Life of a Footballer. And yeah, it's kind of just gone from there. Grealish or Bruno Fernandes? Who's Bruno Fernandes? Piss off. He said he's Bruno Wait, Fernandes. Let me just see a picture of him. I'm putting it in. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he's Bruno Fernandes! Joking, joking, I'd say. Wait, Wait who's he plays for Arsenal, remember? He plays for City. You're Bruno Fernandes? Yeah. Yeah, plays for Man City, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know you're joking, I'm baiting you out, bro, I'm baiting you out. <laughs> bro, he's probably the best player in the Premier right now. Plays for Man U, bro. Oh my god! Bruno Fernandes. Yes, I'm actually so dumb. Wait, who was the other player? Grealish. It's got to be Fernandes right now. Grealish, I think, has that potential to be Right insane. now, Bruno Fernandes, but everyone right. says I look like Grealish, so I've got to back my boy. Grealish has just got... Like, Grealish, of end off. I feel like Grealish is a bit more powerful. Yeah. Next question. Can you make a house tour as a video. So, we've actually, in the last vlog I said, we've got some things coming up yet, and me and Higgsy are actually gonna be moving into a content house very soon. Higgsy has plugged us massively with his gaming channel. Yep. Acer, um, a sponsor and a house for us. Um, gonna be a content house. That's, that's all we can really say right now, but guys, our next house 
It's going to be lit. Um, it's going to elevate. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Content, so. It's going to be crazy, guys. That's what we're going to say. Next question. It's a deep one. Do you ever feel depressed or anxious? So at the start of 2020, I actually went through a depressive stage. Like I was in the worst mindset. I got released from Norwich. I lost my girlfriend, yeah. She, she cheated on me. She was horrible. Like, oh, that's so deep, man. It's deep. It's deep, I, but it's true. I can laugh about it. That now. all happened at the time. I was in a bad state, yeah. Like, I was in the worst state of mind. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. COVID was coming about. I was. I couldn't find a club because of COVID and stuff. Like, it finished me. Um, and then I found the camera. I found yeah. it back to YouTube. My boy, like, he looked after me, man. We were grinding together. Um, that kind of, like, put me back onto the right path. Just focus on YouTube, focusing on myself and my mental health and stuff. And like even sometimes to this day, like I do sometimes get a bit like down. I'm like, oh, I don't know where, like how things are going to go. No, it's, it's hard. No, no it's hard for everyone. I feel like. Do you know what I think? When we started training as well, that was like when I literally was coming back from my injury. Obviously, I hadn't played football in yeah. like 16 months. And yeah. obviously, I needed to get in shape. Yeah. But I was just stuck in my room. And obviously, me and Connor started making videos. And yeah. So it sort like of even out. like to this day, like even when we were playing football, um, like when football was on, like a couple of months ago, it's like bro, a couple, it's like four months it's ago four now. Four months now, four man. months, bro. Like we haven't been playing. Um, like me and Higgsy would still get problems with our knee every now and then, and yeah. it's like, it's it's hard on your mind, bro, because your knee will be hurt, and you'll think, oh, is, oh, I'm gonna need surgery again. You got all these things going for your head, and then like after like a week, it's like back to normal. It's like a total mind. Yeah, it's just up and down. Isn't it's it? up and down. That but, is football, though. It's yeah. up and down, like. It's up and down, man. But yeah, I would definitely say I definitely feel. I wouldn't say depressed anymore. I'll, I've been through that stage like at the start of last year. But I definitely do get anxious and I do get down. I feel like that's just like a normal human thing. Yeah. This one's a bit rude. Why is there so many TikTok songs on your Spotify playlist, weirdo? The thing is with me, yeah, the amount of songs is I he hear... bannering, bro? Is he bannering? Does he want to scrap? Who is it? I don't know. At him, man. No, I'm not at him. He wants clap. The amount of songs he wants I clap. <laughs> but bro, guys, if you want to listen to my playlist, yeah, just search up lit. My playlist is the first one that comes up because it's lit, yeah. Has it got TikTok Bang. songs on? Yeah. I listen to so many songs and they're all on TikTok now, all the banger songs. That's bro, just how it is. He's just trying to get me angry. Stop and it. And it worked. Stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Do you pull bear birds? Yes, um, I got one from the orchard the other day. <laughs> Sorry. What? It's an orchard. Bruh. It's a tree. I went to the found their nest. Yeah. Alright guys, next question. How many training sessions per week do you do? So we've actually now got a brand new training schedule. Um, so make sure you're following along with the vlogs. Um, we paid good money for our new sports scientist. Um, so yeah, it's going to be crazy. So next question is, who is your best ever teammate? That's so hard because I'm thinking oh. like in 23's games when players have come down from the first team. Yeah. Who's it's a hard one because obviously me and Higgy both played for Norwich. Um, but a lot of the young, a lot of the youngsters you probably will know. Um, you play for Norwich like Todd, Max. Um, did you ever play with Ben? Yeah. Yeah. He, Should like, we keep our age group like yeah. no first teamers. Yeah. Ben. Who would you say? I played obviously it's Adam, Ida, Josh. Yeah. See, I've, mine, now. mine would be like Max, Todd, Jamal. Ben Godfrey, but there's even players like that obviously aren't like fully made it that were just different gravy like. Yeah. But Louis Mack, nuts, yeah, bro. But guys, there's so many players obviously that were, obviously we grew up in the in the academy, right? And we've seen we've had a lot of teammates come and go. Um, I was there for a very long time. I was there from the age of 11 till 19, um, when I was nearly 20. So I've seen a lot of people come and go. I've seen a lot of people go and make it over other places. Um, I feel that's a hard question, but obviously the players that are a bit big time now. I'm playing for mainly Norwich's first team. You got even people like Glenn. Like, yeah, like, that's like, what I mean. Yeah. Doing his thing. There's a, there's a um, lot to be fair. I feel yeah, like our age groups actually did well. Our age group was like one of the best, like, especially for Norwich. Compared to other academies, yeah. yeah. But we didn't make it. They took my spot. They took our ACLs. And my ACLs went. So my next question is, favourite moment of your football career? So I wouldn't really say I've had a football career yet. I feel like I'm only just really getting started because I've had like quite a few injuries. Um, been a bit unlucky, but... I'd say I've got two really. Um, under 16s, um, it was my first full game back, fully fit. Um, I played the whole game and I scored a hat trick against West Ham. It's actually on my channel. That's probably one of my favourite. Your like, first game back, fully fit. Yeah. That's mad. So, so I played one game against Southampton, played like a half because yeah, it was hard. Yeah. And then I played West Ham, which was like. I remember seeing that free game. kick. Yeah, I scored a hat trick. Like, that wind took it right in. <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> You can probably play that to be fair. Yeah, and then my other one is probably when I come back from my ACL, my first game back, I scored um, against Colchester. So that was a pretty, pretty proud moment because I've been through so much 
and I've, I've missed that feeling of scoring a goal and just playing football and then when I scored it, it was kind of a bit like, I don't know, it was a bit emotional. Emotional, you know what I mean, emotional. What would you say yours is? To be fair, mine was like my first game back. Obviously, I was only allowed 20 minutes against Newcastle away. You've got to think I trekked all the way there. Oh, bro, Newcastle's like, a long way from Norwich. But guys. obviously, you got to think, 18 months ago, I was gassed to play. Yeah. Obviously, do you remember, like, I used to get pens for fun? Like, yeah. I used to get just pens. This guy used to just run glide past you. Uh, but yeah, first game back, Newcastle. It's like, we're 1-0 down. Obviously, I've come on the last 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, 10 minutes to go, I've won a pen. Like, so, obviously, I didn't uh, take it. Why did you take it? I don't know. Bro, that would have been but like... To be fair, I don't know if you got it yet. First game back, my awareness was awful, man, but... Yeah. Oh, bro, so I weird. know how you feel. The next question is tips to go pro. Um, so, my advice for like the younger players that are trying to make it, um, I'd say I built up my channel um, around the insp like trying to inspire the younger generation. Um, I've like I've got quite an older audience as well. Um, you're out there grinding. Um, but my best advice is just to... You, you've got to enjoy football, first of all. You've got to love the game. Like, I remember growing up, all I had was just football. I feel like nowadays we're surrounded by so much technology. It's not as much as really your fault. Um, that's just society nowadays, but especially within the UK, we're surrounded by so much technology, gaming, consoles, everything. But when I was like growing up, I'm not saying I'm old, but like I just loved going outside playing football. I was literally doing that every day out on the front. Yeah. Um, just, do you know what I mean? You've got to love football, first of all. Obviously, you've got to work hard, you've got to look after your diet. Um, it's the little one percents that really make it to the top. That's why people like Ronaldo. That's why he's never really had like a major injury. That's why he's always at the top because he's always topping up his game. He's always just because he was always good at free kicks didn't mean he stopped. Do you know what I mean? Just because he was rapid didn't mean he stopped working on being rapid. Um, and then you need to focus on your weaknesses. You need to like analyze your game, speak to your dad, your coaches, um, especially if you're young. Advice from them um, and the older players around you. Yeah, so you get better. What sort of advice would you give? Uh, to be fair, it links into like another question people ask, like about joining academies. I'd say, especially yeah. now coming out of academies, you realise like if just because you're not in an academy, it doesn't mean like you can't still make. It. Obviously, you've got to then make sure you're really self-motivating. That's one thing the academy provides. Obviously, all the coaches and stuff. Yeah. But the amount of players you see come out of academies, yeah. and then you see the players that haven't been in academies that are still like hungry and working hard. Players have been released. They've kind of lost motivation, and you just see them overtake. And obviously, it might not come as quickly as like you see the lads making debuts at stupid young ages, but like you can still do it, and a lot of people are doing it now. So, so another thing I'd say is that I've got a lot of like academy boys watching me. Um, I know I get a lot of messages from you lot, um, and I would say is like people that are in a professional environment right now. You're in an academy. You're in a professional setup. You need to make the most of it. Okay, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be in a professional setup. Higgsy knows what it's like to be in a professional setup. It's normal for you guys. It's like. You don't understand how many people want your shirt and want to be in your position, bro. Because like once you're out of that, if you ever get released, you ever get a big injury and you're out of it, you will deep how much, like, oh, if I would have done this, if I would have made the most of this. Because like once you're out of it, you don't truly understand how lucky you guys are to be in that, to have access to footballs, to good facilities, good pitches, gyms, the best coaches in the country. Um, you guys really need to make the most of it if you're in an academy. Um, because everyone, everyone yeah. used to tell us that when we were there. Yeah. You could tell like people would just be like, oh, just this again. Yeah, everyone, you know I mean? everyone would tell us that when you're in the academy. But like when it's coming from like a coach and stuff, you think they're just saying it. But I feel like when it's coming from players like us and people that have been there, um, if you speak to anyone else that's been in academies and they left, honestly, guys, you don't understand. You need to make the most of it. Make sure every single day counts. Speak to the coaches. You're doing your extras, getting that extra bit of ball work in. Um, because honestly, guys, the coaches look out for that stuff. They want to see people that are truly putting in the extra one percent. So I want to be better than everyone else. Um, I'm making the most of it, right? So, as you do. Next question is: Do you have a lot of friends? No. 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 Married to the game. Married to the game. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but on a real one, the the close ones know who they are. In it, I've got quite a quite a tight circle. Um, I've got very good people around me, and uh, yeah, the real ones know who they are. Okay, so next question is, do you have a plan B if the football career doesn't work out? I feel like I don't really have a set plan B, like I know what I'm going to do next. I don't feel like, obviously football is the main goal. I truly believe that I've got the highest ability and the best ability to be playing at a very good level. Um, I genuinely believe in myself and I feel like I know I can do that. But obviously a lot of things can mess that up, injuries, COVID, whatever. Um, but I wouldn't say I really have a plan B. I feel like I'm just someone that just goes with the flow and I'm got that mindset I just wanted to be a footballer right now um, and that's just where I'm going if it doesn't work out then 
do something else. Like obviously my YouTube's going well for me. That I can see that as a plan B right now. Me and Higgs are working on different types of content. Yeah, so you never know what you never know what's gonna happen in the future really. Like would you say you've really got like a plan B? I just feel like obviously we yeah. train, we do our stuff in our spare yeah. time. We we like YouTube, we like motivating yeah. people so it just comes together and if whatever happens, happens, you know what I mean? Yeah, you might see me working in Tesco in two years if you, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you see me just so out of I'm not gay, but why are you sexy? I mean, do you want me to answer? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not asking me that. All right, guys, so the next question is, what's your squat max? So if you don't know what a squat is, it's when you squat. Can you demonstrate, please? Can you show us what a squat is? Oh shit, sorry bro. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Yeah, very good. That's the squat. That's horrible form, boys, but horrible form. He's done two ACLs, leave out. Yeah, leave it, leave an album. Not my, my, my squat max, obviously when I come back from ACL, I mean, obviously when me and he's come back from ACLs, lowers and leg work was very, very important. We were doing it all the time. And my legs got very strong. Um, I used to love doing it. And I used to love like just getting my, my squats Hot, like my squat weight higher and higher and higher. It was so sick. I, I don't know about you, but I never did like one, just one. Yeah, rep. we never ever done like, it was like one five, rep max. five reps yeah. max, one or four. Yeah, but I think like it was around 150, 160 kg. I'm quite a small guy, but my even like when we done like testing and stuff, I had like funnily, funnily enough, I was one of the smallest players in the team, but I had this like one of the strongest legs in the academy. At the time, I don't think he was there. You weren't there when I done my cell, was you? I think Higgsy like just left when I was still at Norwich and I'd done my ACL. Um, but in the whole academy, I had like the strongest legs. <laughs> it's it's quite weird to say. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd been working. I'd work on like, yeah. like, around 150 yeah. before. I've never done like a just a one rep max. But yeah, yeah. like when we we're doing our like, ACLs, bro. I don't know what yours was, but mine was four leg sessions a week, yeah. too heavy, too functional. Yeah. Bro, it was yeah. just sickening. All right. So the next question is, who is your idol? Growing up, I had Ronaldo posters plastered everywhere okay Ronaldo is always my idol um, I just love the guy I just admire him his hard work how like especially when he was at Man U in his first few years at Real Madrid he was he was just a jock a hey, jock um, I loved him who's who's your idol Grant Holt Grant Holt yeah I'm joking Gareth Bell but Grant Holt is actually a baller isn't he I can see Gareth Bale. In Ron Holt's another player that like was working like full time work and then yeah. still making his way up. But anyway, yeah, Gareth Bale. Just because my dad supported Tottenham when I was a kid, I loved Aaron Lennon because he was rapping. Obviously, that was like what my game was all about—just speed. But Gareth Bale, I feel like for me, yeah. I just want to see him play like regularly in the Prem now. Yeah, but he's yeah. just been like, bro. Imagine being that guy, man. He's just been it's golf every day, <laughs> easy, chilling. All right. So next question is: Will you play more horror games with Higgsy? Now, I don't know if any of you guys have seen that video, but that's probably one of the funniest videos I've that made. That was just channel. honestly, yeah. I've never ever played a horror game because I hate horror films, like, if I'm watching on my own, so I'll never just sit there and play it. Yeah, like, he, like, he'll put on a horror film and ask me to come, like, cuddle him and that. And... Imagine, like, if we played it now, like, in the same room. Yeah, I was so it. scared that day. I'm not gonna lie that. to you, yeah. When I watch these, like, horror games and that on, on YouTube, and yeah, you're just, like, putting it on. Yeah. But I can't lie to you, I was, like, yeah, I was. Like, with headphones on, like, oh, my lights were off, bro. I was scared, bro, I can't lie. But we, we was meant to do a part two to that, but we just never yeah, did. Yeah, we'll, we'll think of something anyway. But, guys, who would want to see, like, a second channel where me and Higgsy just, like, do reacts, play, like, games, um, just do, like, loads of content, stuff like that, just, like, would you rathers, etc. Um, I feel like that would be pretty sick, just loads of different content. Um, let us know in the comments if you want to see that. Alright, so the next question is, does Higgsy have a problem? What do you mean I have a problem? <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like, oh, doesn't it? No, I'm, I'm tired of the comments getting at me. Okay? I'm not. Keep, Keep an eye on the vlogs, yeah? Because Connor has been on a different level of dumbness recently. What was I watching? It's a treat. I'm the only mature person in this house. Oh, you started it. I might have started it, but you are well and truly like just taking it away. I'm just, you're just contagious guy, bro. If you, if you actually think about Connor being dumb and just think about all the moments, you'll realize that it's not me. It is you. It's not me. You're just like, you're just happy. You're sitting back, you're like, just push it over to me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not having it. All right, guys, so we're going to finish off on the last question. It's going to be the best player you've played with or against. So we've kind of already answered the played with, but against. Um, I've played against quite a lot. Higgsy would have played against quite a lot. Um, I don't remember mine. I know you do, do but the only person I remember, which I know there's like young ballers that are like doing madness now, but I don't know their names. But obviously, someone's been around a while. Is that Newcastle midfielder? 
What? The bald guy. Don't Joe Shelby. Don't Joe Shelby. Oh, yeah, like, I remember that. You, see, you watch him play it and you think like, he's, you know he's good, he's playing the Premier, he's a baller. Was that, the game? Was that your first game back? No, no, it wasn't. Was that one? It was in like the Newcastle Stadium as well and like yeah. he just, like, he was just doing mad stuff. Like he nearly chipped Aston from like our goalkeeper from like halfway line, like so, just tech bro. And obviously yeah. he was, he's big as well bro. Yeah, he is. He was probably just bobbing off as well. Like, I remember I was being like just a little rat, like sh- closing people down. She would have Like he literally shoulder barged me and I felt like my ACL just went. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but my. I, just the young ballers in the Prem right now, like Hudson Adoy, Saka, um, Emil Smith Rowe. I remember I was playing right back against him. I can't lie, he had me, yeah, he was shredding me up. Did this, is, this is when I wasn't a right. I wasn't. Bro, I'm not a right back yet. I didn't like playing it. This guy was just taking the piss out of me. Yeah. Yeah. He's a year above as well. This when I because I used to play up and when I played up, I was like playing right back sometimes. It's annoying. Yeah. But we moved. I was getting ripped up by him. Uh, Sick. I wish I could remember all my names because I know there is. They will Greenwood be Greenwood as well, bro. His step overs were a jog. Yeah, it's still are, man. Yeah, he. I remember when we played against him and he was just doing step overs for fun. Just like the way it's, it's that's like his signature move. He'll do a step over, like he can do a step over so quickly and get a shot off. Like yeah. just literally so like cool. a little yard. Did you see I Phil Foden's got recently? Oh just yeah, quick, quick cut in, yeah, just a quick one. That's kind of what Greenwood does, isn't it? Like all the time. Yeah, I'd say them. All the young ballers like in the Prem right now, I've played against like the majority of them on. So yeah, it's hard one to choose really. But I do. I've said this in my last Q and actually that was like my title, and I've always said it. Hudson Odoi um, was definitely the standout youngster. Like I remember like dreading playing against him. I remember playing against Tammy Abrahams, and like he was always that player. Yeah. But like you, you saw, he was insane. Yeah. But he just worked so hard, like. Yeah. And even though he was playing for Chelsea, like playing up age groups because he was tall, like, like yeah. twelve years old, he like, came out of the room like that. But yeah, it's mad to see like what they're doing nowadays. They've all got like millions on Insta and stuff. And yeah, it's like, mad, yeah. Imagine back then, we were just like broke. And you were just like, you know what I mean? yeah, like, can you give me your ACL? <laughs> <laughs> this one don't work anymore. Oh. <laughs> but guys, I'm gonna end. The little video there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I'm gonna try and do Q and A's like weekly, pretty much, because there's probably like a thousand questions here, yeah, and obviously we waffle for quite a bit on each question, so we've probably only answered like ten questions. I feel like this um, video is gonna be like really, really good for people who want to hear it. Yeah. Right, but. but yeah, guys, we're gonna have questions, Q and A's like pretty much every week. So make sure you follow my Instagram so you can ask the questions and hopefully get on one of these videos and hopefully some of these questions help you out, um, etc. So, guys. Like I always say, what do I say? Please don't tell me you don't like it. You're banner. Are you actually trying to remember? Yeah. I know it, bro. As soon as you say it, I'm not. Stay positive, stay active. Oh no! It's not, not active, is it? Stay positive, stay grinding. So I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>